a player that I did not expect a couple years ago to be drafted this low. The passing offense limited him. The quarterback play limited him. I also think that there was inconsistency there from Malachi Dupree. Uh, maybe doesn't have the explosion that they're looking for at the next level, but just a smooth receiver who runs patterns well and, and really finished off his career with some spectacular catches in the bowl game against Louisville. Malachi Dupree goes in the seventh round to the Green Bay Packers. Yeah, I was actually really shocked that he fell to the seventh round. Uh, I was expecting him to go a little bit higher, and I was just watching the draft and waiting and waiting, but he wasn't really, like you said, he wasn't. He didn't have that explosiveness while he was at LSU, and I wasn't expecting him to just become the top receiver in Tigers history, but he was still a good receiver, and I think that'll transition over, but he, yeah, he didn't have the explosiveness, and he definitely wasn't Odell Beckham or Jarvis Landry, but he was a pretty good receiver, and they're going to have a big hole to fill with him and Traven Doral gone. But his, the, when he got drafted in the seventh round, it kind of kind of surprised me that he went that low. But <clears throat> he he contributed good at L, great at LSU, but it, I don't think it was enough. And his skill set's a little off, but I think he'll work with it and do tremendous in the NFL. Coming off a productive but pretty unspectacular junior campaign with 41 catches, three touchdowns, about 14 and a half yards per catch, I think it would have served him well to stick around, especially with Matt Canada taking over and possibly some new wrinkles in, in the past game that uh, might have freed him up. And another year with Danny Etling, most likely at quarterback, might have been good for Malachi Dupree. He caught 43 passes the year before and Again, he was one of the top recruits coming out of high school, a guy that caused a big stir uh, and uh, didn't have a huge freshman season, but did catch five touchdowns on only 14 catches as a freshman. And And I just remember his his um, uh, national, uh, the attention that he gained as, as a high school senior and with all the, the big schools coming after him, he was a prized recruit that didn't completely fulfill expectations, but plays three years, moves on to the NFL, and we'll see if he can make the team because it's a, about a 50-50 proposition for a, a round seven selection. They also took Isaiah Ford out of Virginia Tech as well uh, there in Miami.